Okay, I think I've really got something here. What I'm doing, I'm using two transformers. And I'm doing uh, this transformer the normal way I've been doing it. Uh, it is in series to the L3 line. And uh, so it's vectored. And then I go into one side of a 4UF cap, and the other side of the 4UF cap goes to the L2 line, okay? And so that's what I've been doing pretty much past week, maybe a couple weeks. And then I take what's kicked down on the 3.5 ohm side, and I run that through a full wave bridge rectifier. AC, AC out into the AC half, that's the green and the green, and then the white is the, uh, the white is the ground, and the red is the positive going into the battery to charge. And I've been getting only about 340 milliamps, 340 milliamps. And I need more than that, lots more than that. So what I did is I did the same thing as I'm doing here, a vectored transformer. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm not vectoring it. I put a transformer, one of these Radio Shack, uh, Radio Shack uh, transformers that uh, you put in 120 volts on one side and you get about 12 and a half volts the other. So I got this, it's a real common standard transformer and I put the uh, I put the high voltage the high impedance side one side on the uh, AC line coming in or going out however you want to look at it it's AC and then I put the other one on the other line so it's not actually vector going into this. I tried vectoring it, but this works really good. So you, you put this transformer right across the AC input, the high voltage side. The, uh, now the low voltage side, the low impedance side, it goes into its own full wave bridge rectifier over here. So I have two full wave bridges. One's dedicated to this transformer, the other one's dedicated to this transformer. Okay, this has its own full wave bridge, this has its own full wave bridge. I tried to take the to combine and combine them and put the AC of one into the AC of the other. It didn't work. And I also tried to uh, put the DC out of one into the other. But I guess that's actually what I'm doing now because the DC out of this goes to here. Oh, sorry. DC out of this full way bridge connects over here to the DC out of the other one. I, ha I wrote a drawing here, so if you're going, what the heck is he talking about? I'll go through this drawing I did, because I want to remember all this. And uh, now, remember I got 340 milliamps. Look what I get now when I... Uh, what's being pumped into that battery. That's pretty effing good. So now watch this. I 
I disconnect one of the full way bridges because I have. Oops. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to disconnect this transformer and its full way bridge right now at the positive right here. And look, okay, that's what I've been working with. It's just 340 milliamps. Connect this so I now have two transformers, two full way bridges, and uh, and you connect right here at the positive out of this full way bridge, the positive of the, this full way bridge, you connect right here. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so here's without it, the full way bridge is connected, and here's with. And this is the current that's being measured going into the battery to charge it. Okay, now we'll go over this beautiful drawing. Here's what I'm doing. Here's the RV motor, line L1, L2, L3. There's an ammeter to line 1. Oh, I forgot to say, look at what it's drawing right now. 90 milliamps. So the meter here goes to 90 milliamps. Anyways, I might have a mistake here. Bear with me. Here's the AC input. Here's the RV, not such a good picture. There's L1, L2, L3. Okay. So what I've done is on the, the extra transformer I just added that gives that 2.3 amps going into the battery. This is that trans, uh, this is the AC input. And it goes into that transformer. like this, real normal, the AC input goes right across, and then it goes into a full wave bridge on this side, AC, AC, sorry. And then the DC into the battery to charge. So this extra transformer is not in series vectored like I've been doing with this one. It's right across the AC line. And uh, listen to if I disconnect. When I disconnect, absolutely no change in the tone of the motor at all. 
differences. When they say tuning, tuning these things, well, that's you listen to the sound. Nothing. Isn't that cool? No change in the input too when it's hooked up. This might be a, a coherence that Wilbur O. Smith, I think his name is, the Canadian guy, is, knew everything. He would always talk about coherence. So perhaps I've done that. Okay, so sorry about that. I'm gonna I'll make one of my computer drawings of this a bit later on. But you know I wanna make sure I know what I'm I can copy what I'm doing again. So actually the AC line goes one and two in that transformer. goes like that from line one to line two and this goes forget about those scribbles sorry about this you guys I'll make a nice drawing okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna tear all this apart so I want to be able to put it right back together how it is so Again, this this transformer, 9.9, 3.5, this is in series to the L3 line. And it's a 2UF cap. One side of the cap is on the L2 line. The other side of the cap has the L3 line after going in series through the transformer, it ends up on the other side of the cap. I've been doing this all week. And then you take the AC output and you run it through a four-way bridge and you dump it right into the battery. This could be a super cap with it, but right now just a battery. Okay, so that's normal. But now the second one is a transformer with its high impedance side on one on the L1 line and the other side on the L2 line. So it's not vectored, it's not in series, it's in parallel to the AC input. Now the output of this, the low impedance side, the low voltage of it, goes into its own full wave bridge rectifier, which is actually this one over here. And the DC output goes to the DC output of the other full wave bridge. And then there's a common ground for everybody, for everything. Oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna just look at this for uh, So there's the run cap for UF. Everything's normal, but I just added another transformer in parallel to the AC input. And that transformer has its low impedance side connected to the other full wave bridge from the series transformer. That kind of makes sense, but look at those amps coming out. That's beautiful. Okay. I gotta go. Sorry if it's confusing. Like I said, I'm going to make a uh, pretty nice circuit drawing of this. And I'll put a link to it. Okay, thanks for watching.